my name is Ian Tu and this video is going to be about how to take care of your plants when you are traveling. We travel for about a week at a time and we don't want our plants to die so we have to take care of them and that means watering them while we're not here. So this is going to go into some details about how we do that. Okay, so let me go outside and show you exactly how I do it. They're always mowing when I record. so. You will need two things, and that is a water bottle, a regular one, and a push pin. At our beautiful vegetation, so we got our mint right here, um, our Swiss chard, we have strawberry down over there, rosemary, as well as our chili peppers, and they're doing very well. So I am making this video after it successfully worked. Let's get right into it. So what I do next is take the water bottle and poke at least five holes in them. One, two, so that is several holes in it. Okay, I'll add one more. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. The idea is that the water will drip by itself. When the sun hits the water bottle, the evaporation will cause the water to drip into the roots and so it basically feeds itself. Okay, so now that you have the water bottle with the holes in them, the next thing you need to do is to adequately water all of your plants before you leave. And what this does is to make sure that the water doesn't start getting soaked up before you leave. The next thing you need to do is make a hole so that the water will full, flow through. Make it have this little Batman one. You're gonna go in, make sure that it does drip, and then kind of leave it in there. Kind of squish it a little bit to see if the air bubbles will come up. It does. Okay, so it's set and then you keep doing that for the rest of them as well. All the water has finished in So it has done its job very successfully. This spearmint plant used to be really bad before we left actually, and it looks a lot better. I think one of the things to do is to take it out of direct sunlight. And this one is my pretty, look at all of these gorgeous jalapenos, and also the water drained out. And this is our rosemary. So these are all of the ones that I took out and every single one is completely drained and this was over the course of six days. So I would say that it is a very successful. If you want to be environmentally conscious, one thing to do would be to save this and just refill it with regular water, like tap water because the holes are already there and you know that it's gonna function well and um, hopefully it works for you. So this is a huge thing because our plants are absolutely gorgeous and it would be really sad if we lost them just because we had to travel. And this is very easy because a lot of the times you um, either have to buy some like fancy gadget that costs a lot of money or you just kind of like give up on the plant and hope that it doesn't die when you're away. So. I think this will be very helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you found this useful. And hit the bell button so you can get more notifications about my travel and lifestyle tips. Until next time, peace.